In this video, I'm going to show you how to erase unwanted objects from your footage in Adobe Premiere. Three, two, one. Here we go! Hi and welcome or welcome back to DIY Film with Merle Becker, the channel where I help you make better videos. As always, stick around to the end of the video for today's bonus filmmaking tip. Okay, so you just finished your big shoot and you are psyched until you get back to the edit and you realize that someone forgot to tuck away that extension cord before you started filming. As we all know, there's nothing like shooting it right the first time, but we all make mistakes. The good news is, if your shot is stationary, and even if it's not, you can take a few extra minutes in the edit to get rid of that extension cord, or whatever the item may be. So, for example, I have this shot here of some flowers, but there's an unwanted lens cap in the background. So, I'm going to show you how you can remove it using Adobe Premiere. Okay, let's dive in. I'm using Premiere version 15.0, so if you're on an older or newer version, yours might look slightly different. So the first thing you want to do is to duplicate your video clip and move your second copy up to video layer 2, so that you have the same exact clip on both video layer 1 and 2. You can easily do this by hitting Option on a Mac or Alt on a PC and dragging your clip up to video layer 2. Next, slide the top clip over so that it's clear of the bottom one. And first, we're going to cut out the lens cap with the pen tool. By going to the Effect Controls tab and under Opacity, clicking on this little pen icon. Then go to your Program tab and on your clip, make several points around the item that you would like to remove. And close it off so that your last point connects to your first one. Now if you look in your Program tab, you should see only your item with black around it. Next, go to the Effect Controls tab and click the little box under your mask that says Inverted. Once you put a check mark in that inverted box, you should see your image switch in your program tab so that now your item area is black and the area around it is the rest of your image. Next, let's give your mask a little feather or blurry edge. So just to give you an idea of our end game here, we're ultimately going to show our background through this hole so that it looks like it's continuous and we need to blend it in smoothly. So the edges on the hole here need to be feathered in order for this to happen. So go to the Effect Controls tab and go down to Mask Feather under your mask and change the values so that you see the edge get blurry in your Program tab. Okay, now you have a nice little feather and you're ready to move the top layer back over the bottom. So let's do this. Then click on the bottom clip and shift the background a little bit left or right so that it fills the hole with more background image by going to the Effect Controls tab and adjusting the values by position. Next, I also have to brighten up the background here a bit because it's a little bit dark where I moved it. So I'll go to the Effects palette and search for Brightness and go down to the Brightness and Contrast effect and put it on my clip. Then I'll adjust the value by brightness to make it a little brighter. And lastly, just to get rid of this little line here, I'm going to make the background layer larger by going up to the Effect Controls tab and adjusting the value by scale. And voila, it's as if the lens cap never happened. Now, once you move your top clip back over the bottom, you may need to readjust your mask by making the hole a little more or less feathered. And obviously, this method might not work with all footage, especially if there are specific items in your background that can't be duplicated without looking obvious. But in most cases, you can fudge a quick fix, especially if your audience is focusing on a different part of the frame, like your subject. Okay friends, that's it. Try and shoot it right the first time, but if you forget a cap or a cord, remember this edit trick. Alrighty, let's do that tip. Now you know how to do a quick fix for an unwanted object in a stationary shot. But what if your shot is moving? In many cases, you can track or move your mask so that it moves with the shot. To do so, follow the steps we did in this video so far. 
by creating your mask, inverting it, and giving it some feather. Then, once you have your mask, click the stopwatch next to Mask Path and then hit this little play icon to the right of it. Then Premiere will create a series of keyframes for you so that your mask moves with the shot, like magic. Then go back to the first keyframe Premiere created and hit the backwards arrow so that Premiere creates the necessary keyframes for the beginning of the clip. And voila, the boat is gone. So remember the moving mask if you're in a bind. And don't let those unwanted moving items in your shot sink your ship. Alrighty, as always, if you found any of this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when the next one is posted. And I will catch you next time.